Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another apartment renovation. I renovated this apartment a while ago, 17 cold pepper house, and today we are renovating 18 cold pepper house. And I think for this one, I wanted to do like a family starter apartment. So basically a starter apartment because I'm only going to spend 20,000 simoleons. So if you move in with a family to Mishuno, you can move them here and they can live and be happy. And I think I'm going to do two rooms because this is way too big. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to delete everything. I know now you can actually change the windows. Oh, you can remove this because basically in memory of Walden White, the landlord has one rule. The historical plague dedicated to a famous former resident can never be removed or sold. So this is a historical building that cannot be... Mm, yeah, you can't remove that. It's listed, basically, as we would say in England, in the UK. I am going to change the floor plan, though, because this room is way too big. And I know now we can move windows, but I don't know if I'm going to. I think I might be happy with how they are. Especially since it is a historical building. I don't think we should be allowed to change the outside of the house. <laughs> so what if we give it like a corridor and we actually have this as the living room and kitchen and have the two rooms here. So one there and one there. Oh, then the historical plague will be in one of the rooms, which might be a bit weird. Okay, so for privacy, I have given them this a small corridor here in the middle to go into the two rooms and the bathroom here. And this is going to be the living room and kitchen. I wanted to keep the living room here just because of the historic plague, nothing else. I'm actually a bit confused with the money because the lot value is 3525 I'm not sure if that's including the furnishings or how much they have to pay to move in. So I think I might move in a sim here. Give me a second. Okay, so I'm giving myself 19,000. I brought a sim here and I'm going to start this. I don't know if you have to pay for windows and doors and things like that. That's why I gave 19,000 instead. And we said this was going to be by his game, but also city living because that's where Samishuno is. Well, Samishuno is not in city living, but you know, city living expansion brought Samishuno to our lives. So I'm going to start with very basic everything. And then I'll move on to better stuff if we have money at the end. So I'm going to start with the kitchen. I'm going to give them the, not the wars. I don't know if we will be able to afford 1,400. I think that's for more like middle kind of money. That's probably the best we can do. And here we are again, always tempted to use these ones. The problem is that I hate the second cheapest because the colors are just like way too much. But I would like to do something different. I really would. You know what? I'm going to use these ones. They are a bit expensive, but I'm going to try to keep the kitchen small. Let's see if I can do that. And maybe we can use these colors instead. Bowl well cabinets. Is that what goes with this? It is. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, wow. This is an all right cabinet. That looks okay. I've never used this. I'm going to try. I'm going to try, you know. What other colors do we have for above? Uh, I don't mind that. I have never paid attention to these cabinets. Never. Yeah, this is not bad. I don't know how to describe them though. I wouldn't say industrial. Uh, maybe we can do... Mm, yeah, let's do black. Okay, we are on 14 already. Not great. I seen 14,000 uh, 14, simoleon left. I wanted to do a little wall to separate the kitchen from the rest. This was probably way too much money spent in the kitchen, but I feel like I have to commit now. But you know what? I like it. I like it. I think it feels, I mean, it's definitely not the style I will ever go for. And I like that. I would love to be able to keep it, just keep the rest of the house a bit cheaper then. Like if you move to this house, you won't have to worry about the kitchen as much. <laughs> Maybe you can focus your efforts in, you know, the bedrooms, maybe the bathroom, probably. I am just giving them a shower for now. And obviously, you know, probably the bathroom was never refurbished from this historical building. We will try to come back here and make it a bit better if we have some funds. I will put basic clutter around anyway. I don't want it to look too depressing. 
I am going to change the tiles though. These are less hurting for the eyes. Yeah, definitely better. Okay, there we go. A few touches of brown here and there. Now bedrooms, we have two. So I'm going to assume this is a family. A family with children. So I'm going to put two beds in here. This bed came with city living. So I am going to try using this. The colors are very interesting for sure. But I don't dislike them. I think they're quite fun. Maybe for teenagers or children. So maybe we can carry that around the room. And make something quite fun. That feels way too big to be a bedside table. I don't know why it's in that menu. But I mean to be fair. It's the same as that one. This one just has a better shape I guess. Oh I actually like this. I was thinking that I would like to give them a computer here. Or at least a desk to study. And maybe even a shelf. Is there, wow, 900. That's so expensive. I'm going to try. And probably a skill. I'm going to assume these guys are teenagers, to be honest. Two teenagers. You can also put a child. There are two beds, so let me get to the rest of the house and make sure I put everything they need. Because now I need a double bed. This bed also came with city living. So I'm going to try and use that one. I wish there was another swatch for this because I really like how it fits in this corner. What about you? Do you have a darker? Uh, okay, that could work actually. Yeah, fine. Maybe a mirror here. I'm gonna leave this for now like that because I have nothing for the living room. God, this 20,000 really didn't do much for me. Like the living room is gonna have to be quite basic. I wanted to put like a family or a formal dining here. Let me see if I can. I'll see colors afterwards. Okay, I've managed to put everything they need. The kitchen is definitely the best looking one. I really don't want to change it. So I'm gonna have to make this work as it is. There is one thing that I've moved. This. Oh my god. So now, how did this even happen? How did I even... Okay, you can only paint it in the color that it is. That's random. So I'm going to put things around, try to decorate and bring it together, especially the living room area. I feel like if we make the living room work, everything else is fine. As in like you don't expect people to walk around in the rooms. You can work on the rooms little by little. Maybe we can use this one with the green accents. I hate this rug and I don't like that table either. Okay, that's much better. You see, that's better. And I think I'm going to change as well the color of the floors for something lighter. Because if the furniture is dark, yeah, I feel like that's better. That's my favorite floor as well. And it's the same price. And the other thing I'm going to do is change the color of the walls. I'm loving the green here, so I am going to go for a green wall. I think this makes it much more stylish even. I think the darker table is definitely better. I wish there was green, but lighter. Yes, that brown. Oh, I like that. I think I might even be able to create like a little reading corner here. Wow, none of these sofas. Armchairs look very comfortable, to be honest. Maybe these, but the colors are not great. No, this is not working. Wow, I love this, but it's 1465 Too expensive. Okay, that bookshelf was an investment right there. But I am going to try to make it work and keep it. Oh, oh, City Living has these beautiful paintings. I'm so glad. So glad. I guess before City Living, there was not much to work with in terms of paintings. Maybe I can put this big one here. I don't think it works. I need something a bit more square. Yeah, something like that. But maybe a different one. Maybe one of these. Let's see what they have. Oh uh, yeah, that one. Yeah, it's okay. I've completely ignore the this space here. And I would like to choose different lights. I feel like lights help with decoration. It make things look better. There's no great lights though. Mm hmm. I don't mind these IKEA lights for the rooms. For the kids, I can use like the green one. Maybe not. Even this one, you know, for the kids. Yeah. Because it goes with the rest of the furnishings. I think for the bathrooms, I'm happy with those simple ones. Oh, this is not 
I mean, I don't mind the lights, but the actual light that they give is not great, is it? I might actually leave this for the kitchen. Uh, and then the serendipity, actually, that works for there. And we can have some others here. There we go. Yeah, that's fine. The corridor can have this one as well. Now we have this wall corner needs something. I think in the corridor we could actually put one of these beautiful paintings. Tapestries or whatever it is. Okay, we're running out of money. So I'm going to go and maybe put some plants around. Like a plant here. There is a big plant. Yeah, maybe we can put this one here, you know. Because it takes space. Yeah, that's cool. That's alright. Maybe some clutter. Can put some... Cannot I put the books below? No. Okay. What about these ones? Okay, that's good. I have to be careful because some of these things are too expensive. I think we need a painting on this wall. That's maybe too monochromatic. It's 300 simoleons. It's expensive. This one looks good. I'm gonna put that one. It's expensive, but I think that could be this living room done. The kitchen has no clutter. Oh, and I need a bin. Oh, God. Just put it here in the corner. There we go. You've got a bin. Just put some basic kitchen things. Yeah, that's fine. The bedrooms are so bare. If I could put like a rug, that would make it better. This is 110. Okay, that's way too big. <laughs> I wish there was an intermediate. I don't know, you know, I don't know. I mean, I like the idea of having a rug here, but I'm not sure that works. This one is 150. I think th this one definitely better. As it was a bit bare before. I don't have any money for clutter there or for anything on the walls, not even on the bedsides. <gasps> Maybe I can bring this blue to the walls. Yeah, that's it. I like that. I'm not even going to probably do the whole wall, but just like a little bit like that. And then the rest of the wall can be a bit more grayish. I think I like that. And then these guys here. Actually, I'm going to paint this so they also have the top and the bottom. I'm going to use the same one as here. There we go. And that's actually giving us some money. And for the kids or teenagers, maybe a deeper color. Oh, that's beautiful. But no, maybe too, too intense. That's cool. Okay, I'm choosing this. It is intense, but it goes with the beds. I kind of like it. That gave me some money as well, which is great. Let me see if I can put some lamps. 85. Is that 110? That won't, that won't be good. Maybe I can use this panda. I've never used this panda. It's actually quite funny. Yeah, I'm going to use the panda. And I'm going to give some lights to the parents as well. See if I can pull this off. Even these ones, you know. Ugh, I hate the blue though. These are 85. I could afford them. I'm going to give them these candles. Because they look like decoration as well. Right, 68 simoleons. The lot value is 22,215. I don't know. If you move here with a family, you will still have some money. Like, I think you get like 22,000. So, but I don't think the furnishings, because I only gave myself 19,000. So, I'm hoping this is okay for a starter. Yeah, I think this column is not working for me. Like, maybe even that color works better. I just feel like this is a cool feature as a, you know, part of the historic sort of narrative that this house has. Oh, I cannot even afford a fruit bowl. 250 simoleons. Wow. Okay. And the cheapest one is 95. Let's see what's the cheapest decoration here. Oh. Ooh. This could really do it for the kids. I don't know why he's trying to put them, I don't know, like super high. Where are you trying to put this? Okay, so I've managed to put something here, but can I move it? Uh, no, I can't. I'm struggling. No, no. Okay, I'm giving up. Ah, that's such a pity. That looks so cool and it's so cheap. This is like 65. That leave me with three. I don't know. Is there anything in Divac that I can use? I'm not sure. Let me check. These are like metal displays. So I'm going to use some of these. Why not? Maybe I can put some letters. Like they need to read. Just to make it a bit more like, you know, lifting. A box of junk. Oh, kids, you need to sort out this room. They were into metals, that's for sure. The frogs, the eggs, they all cost money. I need free things, Sims. Free things. I have to pay for all of these. What type of debug is this? Yeah, I don't I don't need that sort of debug. 
I don't know what that is exactly, but it was on debug. I'm not sure it's functional. It looks like one of the tablets. I'm leaving that there. All right, guys, I've found nothing else for, from debug. So I think this is it. I guess you know what we could do. Remove two of these chairs and have only four people. Because that will be four for the four people, like the parents and the kids. So that gives us a little bit more money to do something in this wall. I've also sold one of these paintings because I didn't really have enough to do anything. Anything that would be good enough, I meant, I mean. Because then I can put one of them here, this big door. And I think if I make it bigger, big here, yeah. Yeah, that is fine for this because it matches the blues. So that makes the room much more interesting. And then here we can put maybe, you know, just some bits and pieces like tissue box, maybe some creams, or even better than this, these boxes. They look pretty. Anyway, very organized, tidy, fit for four people. Well, this is it. So you enter into a living room with a little reading corner here. I've also put this so they can play music and have a little party. Then to the crown jewel, the kitchen, I think is the best part of the house. I actually quite like this industrial look. I think I'm going to use these counters more often now. I don't know. I like it. So they can cook here and they, they can have and enjoy their lunch with friends or family here. There is a beautiful painting overlooking. And I love the green shades of this living room. Then there is a little corridor that goes into a very simple bathroom with some brown and two bedrooms, one for teenagers or children. Probably if you have children, you might want to get some toys and for parents or a couple or whoever lives here. Okay, this is it. I hope you enjoyed this quick renovation. If you did, please like this video, comment below. Let me know what you think. I love reading your comments, even if you don't like it. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.